What's up guys? Coming at you from almost heaven ice cream today. We're here to take on the Goliath Sunday challenge. Yeah, I think it's like 15 scoops of ice cream, uh, bananas, pineapple, strawberries. Uh, we're gonna check this place out, get some Sundays, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, they brought these things out. They're huge. Massive. Like I said before, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, bananas. We got some cherries on top. Uh, 30 minutes to do this. We'll see if we can get it done. They were $35 a piece if you uh, can't finish the challenge. So hopefully we all finish. Dull hairs. Alright, so without further ado, the Goliath. It's a Goliath, right? The Goliath. Goliath. Yep. Goliath Sunday Challenge. So without further ado, the Goliath Sunday Challenge. Three, two, one. Eat the Sunday. Much good cream. Healthy vegetables and fruit. There's no vegetables. Nuts. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Not sure what it Chocolate ice cream is good. Mm -hmm. Neapolitan has like three flavors in one. <laughs> Why is Dev? I'm actually wearing two hoodies right now. Come here, baby. You say it's the first time you've ever done an ice cream challenge, mate? Yes, sir. What do you think so far? Uh, it's starting to get a little cold. <laughs> you should do it at a super low body weight and your body like goes into hyperthermia. <laughs> yeah. Like Molly really has a hard time with them because it makes your body so cold. Right. I did the after fritter Sunday when I was at like 135. That sounds awful. It's pretty cold. Why do you always have me doing ice cream challenges when it's cold? Five gallon milkshakes, gallon challenge. Five gallon milkshake, that was awful. Turning mine into a Neapolitan milkshake. I feel like I got the most frozen one. I always get the ice cream that breaks my face. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no.
What do we got? Uh, 13 minutes in. Uh, what is this? Bushcraft. My stand broke. Yeah, about 14.30. Ugh, 14.30. Ugh, my face is numb. It's like beginning of October. It's like 50 degrees outside and we're sitting out here like a bunch of idiots eating ice cream. <laughs> Andy Poole's convulsing so bad the whole table shaking. <laughs> Can't do it with the side of the school. Andy Poole's got the cheater bowl. That was spill ice cream down my face. Like down my phone, my phone. Pour it down your shirt. I just tried that a minute ago and I did the same thing. Pouring it down his shirt, hiding it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that mine was bigger. A bigger bowl, bigger thumbnail. This guy, this guy finished it first. Uh, it's because he only had half the ice cream. I offered him to switch it. I told him I would take the big one. <laughs> Not as cold. More melted. No, I'm getting out of here. Cream. <laughs> Yours was the first one made. <laughs> Is this a location where Andy lived at? Yeah, and they all got waters. Waters? Yeah. <laughs> right there. Ah, they did get water. Cheaters. Ah, oh, different rules, different challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Andy Poole, two scoops. Woo! <laughs> Got it. Too much, huh? <laughs> Too much for me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm just not feeling it today. <laughs> you still have a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Golden. All right. 23.45 for Andrew Poole. All right. All right, so Killer and I were able to finish the challenge. Unfortunately, Mike was unable to, but he lives pretty close to here, so he'll be able to come back and take his revenge on this thing. <coughs> it was a delicious Sunday. Definitely enjoyed it. If you're ever in the area, make sure you stop in and check this place out. Get yourself an ice cream. Maybe get yourself a Goliath Sunday. If you liked my video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Share, subscribe. Check his channel out. Catch you guys next time.